Hey, what's going on guys? Justin here with americantrucks.com. Yes, it is that time of year again. SEMA 2023 is upon us. We're gonna do our best to show you all of the baddest Chevys and GMCs from the show this year. A lot of crazy stuff, some functional stuff, and we'll mix in some of these monstrosities as well. So let's get after it, come on. Had to stumble across my friends here in the Icon booth. Guys, they always come correct, bring some really sick stuff. Case in point, this new GMC Canyon AT4 outfitted real nice. Let's take a closer look. Right away, what caught my eye is this kind of integrated skid plate here with the KC highlights across. Big fan of that. But if you know Icon, you know their suspension is completely top notch. Obviously a little tough to see there, but we got their upper working with their coilovers. Of course, that's their wheels on 37 inch recon grapplers. Looks really, really good. Coming around there, of course, is the logo. But check out this bed setup, guys. This is really dope as well. Spare tire carrier, as you can see, we got the jack, we got the toolbox, we got the cooler. This thing is certainly ready to pre-run for you and it's done very well. Magnaflow exhaust, just super clean build. Again, Icon, we just know they're always gonna have something dope, uh, something worth checking out here at SEMA. And wouldn't you know it, here we are again. Now, is there anything more sinister than an all black HD truck? Well. I don't think so. I'd love to own a black truck. I'm OCD. This isn't about me. This is about the CVF 3500 High Country behind me. Let's check this thing out. It is absolutely badass. Looks menacing. I just love the fourth gen facelift front ends. They look very, very sharp. Let's check out some of the parts. Our friends, Black Rhino, of course, supplying the wheels. We've got some ridge grapplers on there. Looks like we got a power step. Here's a good look at kind of what their bumper lineup looks like, but let's get a better look at it here on the 3500 because I really love this design. As you can see, winch bumper with the CVF lighting in there. Of course, the winch is hidden. I like that. I really like the color contrast as well. A lot of times with these big trucks, you don't like to see the exposed winch hanging off the front. It looks a little clumsy. Very, very clean here with the CVF stuff. So high quality goods, man. Looks really sharp here on the 3500. In the AEV booth or American Expedition Vehicle booth, they make some really, really badass stuff. Case in point, the Sierra Grande concept behind me. Look at this thing, man. It's based on an AT4X, just outfitted to the gills with AEV stuff on 40s. Yes, 40s, absolutely massive. Look at this brush guard. One piece kind of design here with the bumper lights. 12,000 pound winch up in the front, nicely tucked into the bumper. Dig that. AEV wheels, again, you get a better sense of those 40s. We've got the AEV snorkel. Of course, kind of like a flatbed design here. They skid plates all underneath this thing. And we have a 9,500 pound winch in the rear here with that in their vertical tire mount. So uh, this thing is just built for extreme situations. Love the color, love the armor. AEV, probably one of the most quality companies to do it. Certainly evident here in the SEMA booth. In the land of this, it's kind of interesting to see something like this. Check it out, guys. Our first lowered fourth gen here that I've come across at the show this year. And this thing is pretty wild. Let's take a closer look. As you can see, absolutely dumped. We got the crazy lighting going on. There must be about 20 subwoofers in the back here. Check that out. Heard you like bass. We got you covered. But then coming inside, look at this interior. This is freaking crazy, man. The stitching on these seats, the red accents. You know, I know this might not be for everybody, especially for truck fans out there, but it is nice to show kind of the yin and the yang of what SEMA really is all about. And it's not all about your lifted stuff. Once in a while, you get something like this too. Someone across a very, very interesting vendor here at the 2023 SEMA show. This is called the Flated Booth. Uh, let me explain. Now, you guys know the deal with truck caps, right? They can be a little cumbersome, difficult to remove if and when you need to. Well, this might be the solution you're looking for. Check this out, guys. This is a fully inflatable truck cap for whatever. In this case, a Colorado. But as you can see, this is completely blow up. This is basically the same kind of material that you'll find inflatable stand-up paddle boards. Uh, the whole thing weighs about 30 to 40 pounds, packs down into the bed, and can be assembled and on the truck in about 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Not only that, it can support <laughs> from what these guys are telling me, up to three full-grown men on top of the thing. Uh, so that's very, very cool. Windows can roll up if you're camping because this is another one of their products. This is an inflatable bed. So these are the supports down below. Obviously, you still have some storage down there. If you wanted to camp out in the truck with your inflatable cap, you can do that thanks to the bed here as well. And I think maybe one of the coolest things about this, guys, 
This entire booth, the floor is included, chairs, the sign, everything is inflatable. It's all made from the same material that the truck cap is made from. And from what I've been told, everything that you see here, this whole booth is actually gonna pack down into this little five foot bed. So very cool, very innovative product uh, here at SEMA. Walking through the Overland Experience booth here outside of West Hall, stumbled across what I would consider just a very clean third gen. Let's check this thing out. Um, as you can see, amongst the other crazy builds here at SEMA, nothing too crazy, right? I mean, it's very modest, which I really dig. You know, coming up close here, we got the metal FX wheels. I'm a big fan of that design. But more importantly, guys, as you can see, we got the hardware under there. BDS lift kit here with the Fox stuff. You know, if I were to own a 2500, just keep it simple, tasteful, probably look exactly like that. And this thing stopped me in my tracks. Obviously, not a Silverado or a GMC, but a K5 Blazer. This is a 1974 K5, actually owned by a gentleman out in Maryland, close to us in our neck of the woods, but it's done right. It's certainly ready for the Baja. Check this thing out. Let's take a walk around. That's true. Look at this interior here, guys. Pretty purpose built. Cage everywhere with the man pedal. That's what I am talking about. Done right. Obviously, we got the old Baja BFGs on there. And of course, just that natural dune color I love. So very, very cool stuff. If you're a fan of the classics, this is certainly on point. Saw this absolute sleeper just kind of chilling in the corner out here uh, outside of West Hall. I mean, you see these big monster trucks everywhere, but something like this is what really catches my eye. And hopefully you guys dig it too. Early 90s, 454 SS, absolutely slammed on Weld S71s. I mean, does it get much better than this, guys? I don't think so. This is just one of the cleanest trucks I think ever built. And you can see it absolutely dumped here. Love this wheel and tire combo. Again, for those unfamiliar, the Weld RTS S71s, Willwood brakes peeking out, and just a show-stopping example out here at SEMA. Stumbled across another fourth gen here in the Putco booth. This one, a ZR2. Really, really digging the light bar across the grill here. I like how it's integrated. Very factory-esque, if you will. Coming down the side here, we got more Putco parts, including their bed accessories and rack. This is their Venture rack. Big time lighting up top here. And check this out. They make use of the smart tailgate. All kinds of storage back there as well. So again, Putco, been making truck accessories ever since I can remember. And this is a nicely outfitted fourth gen here to show some of them off. In the ranch hand booth here at the West Hall, guys, stumbled across very radical looking fourth gen Silverado. Let's take a closer look because there's a lot going on, but obviously the big theme here is going to be the ranch hand armor. So showing that off, of course, with this pretty aggressive brush guard bumper combination. I like that. Definitely a lot of light mount opportunities, still holding on to the front parking sensors, but more importantly, check this out, guys. You got kind of that Rhino liner coating on it, kind of a khaki color. I like that a lot. Fittipaldi wheels, small lift. We also have the ranch hand drop steps going on. See now, unlike other drop steps, I like these because you're getting a much bigger step overall. And then again, more ranch hand stuff going on here in the back. So looking to toughen up your truck, ranch hands where it's at. Super clean white ZR2 Colorado here, guys, with some Go Rhino hardware. All kinds of goodies. I love the wheels on this. These are AEV wheels, of course. Um, minor lift kit on it, but as you can see, we got the Go Rhino low profile running boards. Check these guys out. Massive A pillar lights here from Go Rhino. And those same lights can be found up here on the chase rack as well. Uh, as you can see, we've got all kinds of Go Rhino stuff going on, including that chase rack. Of course, just being the ZR2, you got the Multimatic hardware on there on the back. Get a better look here of that Go Rhino setup. Just a real clean build. Love me a white truck, especially a ZR2. Nicely outfitted. Right next door to the little brother is the big brother ZR2 here. The Silverado, of course, showcasing more protection goodies from Husky here. Nice low profile hood protector, as you can see, for the leading edge. Really big fan of the Husky wind deflectors here as well. Check out that profile. They look a lot sleeker here in person. Um, really, really flush. Of course, we've got some more protection from Husky down below, their lower rocker area, and then immediately below that, of course, the NFAB drop steps. We're a big fan of those. Use them on a lot of builds here as well. So just some more protection highlighted features here from the gang at Husky and Go Rhino. 
stumbled across a brand new AT4X in the Come Up Winch booth. Uh, very clean, nicely outfitted. Let's check out a couple of my favorite parts, starting with the smart cap. This is awesome, guys. If you haven't seen these yet, very, very functional. Pop these open and boom, there you go. You got your cookware, you got your Overland stuff, coffee mugs, the whole nine yards. Absolutely love that. Very sleek, very low profile. There we go, and easy to close and open. Obviously, we've got the rooftop tent up there as well, but this being the come up winch booth, let's showcase what they're all about. And as you can see, this is the AT4X, so you got the really nicely done bull bar. This is all factory stuff, but come up supplies the actual winch. That's a 9,500 pound winch tucked up in there. Very, very low profile. And that's what I like, right? These new trucks, they're sleek, they're sharp. Um, this isn't a rock bouncer, you know, this is probably a daily driver, but if you take it off road once in a while on the weekends, do some camping and get jammed up, you got a lifeline there, nicely tucked up, very sleek and just very sharp overall. So big fan of the come up winch booth and execution here on the AT4X. Well guys, if you want a good sense of what SEMA is all about here in the truck scene, uh, you really have to check out the JTX Forge booth outside. Um, because it really kind of spans the entire uh, spectrum, if you will, of what you might see here at a SEMA show for trucks. So let's start off here. As you can see, two absolutely slammed Forge Gens, obviously on air, but this thing right here with the wrap, 30 inch wheels, it's a dually, it is absolutely ridiculous. The camo wrap with the killer interior. Look at this thing, wow. Uh, you gotta appreciate that work that goes into that. But for this end of the spectrum, the slam cars or trucks, I should say, you have this end as well. Check this out. Absolutely massive Denali 2500. I mean, this is really, really awesome. So a little lower is this fourth gen over here, followed by another one, kind of like a white and black theme. Really like the older body style stuff as well. But I mean, Listen, I know this ain't everybody's favorite cup of tea here, but you have to appreciate the work involved. Look at the detail of these wheels. I mean, it is, you know, really, really impressive the amount of stuff they do for these things. Not a ton of first gens here at the SEMA show, but this one caught my eye. This is radical, guys. This is paint, this is not a wrap. A lot of times you see some detail like this, you just assume, oh, that's a wrap. But no, this is a legit paint job. Uh, radical first gen here on 43s. Um, you can see a little blower peeking out underneath the hood there. It's pretty awesome. But uh, this thing's pretty next level, guys. Tube chassis here in the rear. The suspension. It's pretty gnarly stuff going on. So, again, if you're a fan of the first gens, this is probably my favorite here from the show. Purpose built. Thing looks like it's ready to boogie. Forgive the noise, we're in the Hoonigan booth here and somebody's just annihilating a set of tires. But behind me, probably one of my favorite Chevy builds of the show. It's not new, it's not crazy lifted. It's just really friggin' clean. Ready? Check this thing out, man. Look at the Sierra, here we go. Absolutely badass. Pre-runner vibes. The way they did the fender bump here is really clean. King suspension, Dirt King hardware underneath. They got the bumps on there. Again, just super clean, right? You got beadlock wheels, wellwood brakes under there. 38 inch ridge grapplers. Okay, you can see the little bump going on back here as well. Really killer suspension back here. Got a Drift King rear end. And then you can see you got the four link stuff going on as well. So get a better sense of that front end there. Bed setup's remarkably clean. So we got some Baja design lighting as well going on back here. So, and just look at, talk about clean. Look how well done that bumper is, right? I mean, this is, when I think of clean, it is something like this. Just really, really well done. This here is white light, man. Check it out, man. No, it just feels like that's how I should be announcing a truck like this. Because as you can see, it is, in fact, white lightning. But not just any white lightning. This is a 1975 Chevy K20 on 49s. 49-inch <laughs> super swampers. Look at these things, man. 
Uh, I'm a sucker for the old stuff. What can I say? This is like old meets new in regards to what like the SEMA builds are all about. Um, as you can see, everything's powder coated underneath. But uh, just really, really sick. Look at this thing, man. You got your white lightning under there. We got bags for the rear. There's those super swampers again. And yeah, just a classic build with a whole lot of excess. I love it. And the sea have lifted everything. Uh, this stock-ish brand new Sierra really caught my eye. I think this thing's really clean. Check it out, guys. Now I say stock-ish because that's what it says right here. That's not me calling it that. That's what the owner's calling it. But this is a uh, new JMC Sierra, obviously, on 26s. Mild drop, really like the color. Uh, front end looks really clean, dig that. And then of course, check out this interior though, it's pretty dope. It's just kind of offsets the silver exterior really nice with the road wire leather, even integrated into the dash. So again, uh, you know, SEMA, they can get out of hand real quick. So something like this is kind of like, like a, a breath of fresh air, if you will, and a real clean build. In the Threat off-road wheel booth here, uh, stumbled across a really clean fourth gen Sierra. It's an AT4 outfitted to the gills with a ton of Overland stuff, including some Overland tough racks here, which are really, really cool. Check this thing out, guys. So first and foremost, just love the color. Gotta love the AVS light shades. I know they're pretty silly, but I love them. Uh, really burly rigids here on the A pillar, but let's take a closer look at some of these racks because again, these are the Overland rough racks. I love it. You get the vault cases up top here by Pelican. Your rigid spotlights, which is really cool, kind of casting some light for you. We got awning popping out out here, but look at this. This is radical stuff. So this is more of the Overland rough rack stuff. Um, we got 12 volt power sources here, switching, party mode. Uh, air compressor, fridge, uh, nitrous for the you know bottle heater, rigid lighting, and it's all done really, really cleanly. Uh, big fan of that stuff, so really, really clean. But check this out. We got the wood grain in the back with the overland racks. There's your little two burner stove if you want. We got a party table, your fridge, but the wood grain, I'm telling you, is really dope. Uh, nice Odyssey pen up here too, guys. Just a really, really well outfitted bid. Uh, build with some really quality parts on it. A really nice mix of classics here this year, especially this thing caught my eye. 1969 C10, it's a step side, it's powered by an LS3 under the hood, very, very clean. Apologize about the shadow, but it's Vegas for you. Look at that shaved bay, Willwood setup here. It's nicely lowered, not like undrivable. But you got a nice Willwood set up there with brakes. Well, it is on air, so I'm sure that is adjustable, of course. Coming back here, very clean interior with AC. I always like to point that out on the classics. And then, of course, the finished bed. So, really, really sharp here. Again, 1969 C10. <laughs> Gotta respect your elders. So, from one slammed Chevy C10 to another here, check this thing out absolutely murdered out on the ground thanks to an airlift performance kit ls under the hood but look at this coming on back to the bed <laughs> we got twin snails back here twin garrett turbochargers with the intercoolers look at this setup i mean this is a work of art guys here's your airlift performance stuff going on all your hard lines diff the turbo setup is absolutely gnarly just completely blacked out this thing is gorgeous I might like this one more than the gray one, but don't tell that guy. Well, guys, that is going to be a wrap for me here at SEMA for American Trucks Chevy. I think we saw a little bit of old. We saw a little bit of new. Saw some pickup trucks. We saw pretty much a little bit of everything, really. Uh, as always, comment below what was your favorite build here that we showed you from this year's show. I know I have a couple in my head, but always like hearing from you guys. Uh, as always, if you dig the content, be sure to give us a like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, we'll see you next year. But in the meantime, I'm Justin. For all things American Truck Chevy, keep it right here at AmericanTrucks.com.